Hey there folks, I'm doing a little bit of relaxed Sunday afternoon cooking, and I'm gonna show you real quick how to make a super easy bison bone broth. You have to start off with some robust bones. So here we go. There are about four pounds of bones in this crock pot, and it is already set on low. And I've got a few ingredients all set out right here. And the first one right here is just a cup of water. This is a half a cup of apple cider vinegar a quarter cup of oil of your choosing. I recommend olive oil, but any oil really will work. I have um, one tablespoon of rosemary and just a couple sprinkles here of salt and pepper. So we'll add each of these ingredients. Water, apple cider vinegar, get that oil all in there. that rosemary on top. So I'm sitting here looking at this and I think I'm gonna add another cup of water to the pot just to make sure that it simmers appropriately. And I'm just going to now let this sit for about hours and I may just adjust those bones as needed to make sure that they get into some of that liquid and we will add some veggies tomorrow and I will show you how I do that. Okay, so here I am back with my bone broth. We're a little over 12 hours and it's time to actually take the bones out of the broth. Here is the lovely concoction that has been percolating. So here are those bones and a lot of the gelatinous material removed so that we are left with a beautiful broth that I'm going to just add simple celery and onions to and let it sit for another six to 12 hours to get some of that flavor. And then it will be done. And that's how I make my bison bone broth. I'm just going to transfer it over to a couple jars and stick it into the refrigerator and it should be good for a week or so. And don't forget to give those extra bones you've had to your pups. They'll be very happy dogs.